Good day everyone. Today we are going through how to register for your SALCC courses on Sonis Web. Sonis Web is a third-party student information management software that SALCC uses to handle student registration, grading, and course management. As a student, you'll be interacting with this software regularly. So in this video, we will show you how to 1. Register for your courses 2. Check your class schedule and free, view your grades. So let's get started. Firstly, to access the Sonis portal, you can either enter this link directly into your web browser, or visit the SALCC website and click the Sonis icon on the home page. Please note that Sonis is used by many other agencies around the world, so always verify that you are on the correct site. It should have Sir Arthur Lewis Community College at the top. To log in as a student, hover over the Login tab and select Student. It should take you to this window. Enter your SALCC student ID and password. For new students, this information would be in your acceptance letter. So check the email address that you provided to the college. If you have trouble accessing your login info, please contact our Student Services Unit at studentservices at salcc.edu.lc. Once you've entered your credentials, click Login. Please note, if this is your first time logging in, the system may prompt you to reset your password. Simply create a new PIN, enter it a second time, and then click Change your PIN to update your password. Make sure you document this new password somewhere so you can find it easily in the future. If you are logging in for the first time, you should see the following screen. Head over to the side menu and click Bio. First, verify that your email address is an SALCC email address in the form of name at salcc.edu.lc as shown here. Please note, if the email address in this section is not an SALCC email address, please contact our Information Technology Services Unit by sending them an email at helpdesk at salcc.edu.lc. In that email, please include your name, student ID number, and date of birth. Once all the information in your bio appears accurate, head over again to the side menu and select Academics. Under the Academics tab, click Registration. When you click on Registration, the following screen will show up. If you scroll down, you will see a list of courses. These are the courses available for registration for the upcoming semester. Here you will see the course code, which are three letters followed by three numbers the spaces available in that course, the description slash title of the course, the section, the credits, and the faculty member or teacher who will be teaching this course. You will also find the days and times for the course, along with the campus the course is associated with, either our main campus, which is on the Mon, or our South Campus. So the first course we see is an accounting course, the course code is ACC113. The number of students that can fit into this course, or at least this course section, is 30. The full description of the course is Principles of Financial Accounting Level 1. The section is Section A. And we notice that there are six sections for this course. The course is a free credit course. And at least for section A, the lead faculty or the person who will be teaching the course is Professor H. Malcolm. The times for this course are Tuesdays from 10, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Thursdays from 12, 10 p.m. to 1 p.m. And it takes place on our main campus, which is the Mon campus. Let us say that you need to register for courses test 100 and test 101. First, click on the letter starting with the course code that you need to register for, in this case, T. The page with the list of courses starting with T should appear. Next, click on Test 100, Section A to select that course. 
When you select test 100, the screen should update to this one. You now have two options. Either click the complete registration button to register for this one course, or you can go ahead and select another course if you need to register for multiple courses. In most cases, you would be registering for multiple courses, so we need to select another course. In our example, it's test 101. So once you click test 101, it should also appear on the page like test 100. You can do this for up to 5, 6, 7 or 8 courses. Once you have selected all the courses with the correct course section, you can go ahead and click complete registration. Once you click the complete registration button, this screen should appear. Towards the bottom of the page, click the return to registration button to go back to the registration page. Now let's say you've returned to the registration page and realized that you forgot to add one more course. Have no fear, you can simply go to the available courses and click to add this course. Also, if you realize that you've accidentally added the wrong course or the wrong course section, feel free to just go to that course section and click to unregister from this course. Please note that when you are registering, there may be some courses that are highlighted in red and you cannot click on them, and they show that there are zero or even negative spaces in them. This means that the section is filled. Other students have already filled up that class. If a course and a section specially assigned to you is already filled, please report this to your academic department where they will give you further guidance. Another key point to note is that if you try to register for a course and a section that is not for your program, the system will prevent you from registering for that course. You will get a message like this. If for whatever reason you get this message, but you are certain that you are on the correct course and the correct course section, then please visit your academic unit for further assistance. Now that you have registered for your courses, you can go to view your schedule showing the days, times and locations of your classes. To view your schedule, go to the Academics tab once again and click on Schedule. From this page, you can see the courses you are registered for. The days, the times and the locations. The courses that are online will be marked as shown. Please note that some units give students physical copies of the timetables as well. If there is ever a difference between what is on your physical hard copy timetable and what is on SONIS, Trust the SONIS information, as this will always be up to date. Also, if you are interested in printing out your schedule, you can select the printable version button. At the end of each semester, to check whether your grades are available on SONIS, we come to the schedule page and click the final grades section. This page gives you a breakdown of your final grade and your overall percentage grade. You would notice that you had to click unofficial on the previous screen. It is marked unofficial since the office of the registrar has not made the grades official yet. Once this is done, you will be able to view the grades directly from this page. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope that this was helpful and we wish you all the best for the new academic semester.